All right, what is up, my dudes? Today we're going to be going through some band shirts and some other shirts that I've um, obtained throughout the entirety of this year. Uh, let's start with a numero uno here. Let's just jump right into it with the shirts I got from different concerts. And starting off, we have Magnolia Grove. Uh, this I got on their very last show for Denver, the very last show for their Denver lineup, I believe. Uh, nothing on the back, but I like the baby blue and then the cool little map topographical topographical thing there. So yeah, that was the very first shirt I bought this year at their last show. Very cool. And then we have this one. This might very well be my favorite shirt that I've got this year. One of my favorite shows that I saw, and that would be Satan's Earth Infernal album cover. But it's uh, different. It's not like the original album cover where it's like yellow and red and stuff. It's like blue and kind of this neon pinkish color. And then we have the dates on the back. As you can see, I cut the sleeves off, but I've been wearing this shirt basically nonstop all year round. I freaking love it. And uh, yeah, it's just awesome. And then Satan just put on a hell of a show and I'm very, very happy to have that shirt. All right, moving on. Uh, you may recognize this from the midnight video. And that would be this one right here from when I saw them on their uh, solo date for their 20th anniversary show. We have a goat and a girl. Love the colors on it. Love the old school vibe. And then, of course, we have not necessarily the dates, but all the places that they visited. Very cool. Love the uh, size. And then the 20 has the bell logo. Um, so, yeah, very cool. Once again, a shirt that I've been wearing frequently, uh, probably second to the Satan one, to be honest. All right, moving on. We have a Death to All T here. Kind of symbolic-esque with the eye. And we have some skulls and tentacles. Um, I love how it's a, a triangle design. It's not like a normal square print, uh, which is cool. Nothing on the back, although I did get it when they did their individual thought patterns, uh, 30th anniversary tour. And uh, I saw them at the summit in Denver, which was their last show on that tour, and it was absolutely incredible. Lots of people talking and telling stories and, uh, you know, lots of crowd surfing and stuff. So it it, it 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 was like a two and a half hour show, and it was awesome. So yeah, there we go. Death to all. All right, these ones you may recognize from the Milwaukee Metal Fest video, so I'm going to quickly go through these. And we have the uh, little, their little guy there. I'm not really sure what he's supposed to be some zombie but i got the long sleeve version and it has the milwaukee metal fest kind of logo i suppose right there on all the sleeves and on the back i think is probably the coolest to be honest and that would be every single band that played that weekend um absolutely phenomenal show really cool shirt i like how it has where it was what it is the dates, the bands, everything it's it's got it all it's like oh how was the you know what did you do this weekend you could just whip out that shirt and say that's what happened moving on another milwaukee metal fest one we have the deeds of flesh trading pieces album cover great album and then uh, on the back we have the another milwaukee metal fest logo and this is like the official oh they played there type of deal um and yeah very very cool nothing else i can say that i haven't already said about it <clears throat> Another one from the Milwaukee Metal Fest, although very non-specific, and that would be this Anthrax Raglan with Judge Dredd on it. Uh, I Am The Law is probably my favorite Anthrax song, so I always thought that was sick. Love the comic book artwork, probably straight from a comic. And then we have uh, the Raglan, which I also love. Blue sleeves, white, just overall classic design, super sick. So I'm very glad to have that. Let's toss that back in the pile. <laughs> All right, and then we have um, another Milwaukee Metal Fest shirt, and that would be Macabre, Ooh, the Dahmer album cover. Kind of morbid to have that as a shirt, but uh, you know, it, it goes. It's an album, and it and it, you know, is a form of art. And then on the back, we have some drawings, and once again, Milwaukee Metal Fest exclusive. So. Yeah, super sick album. Very happy that I saw Macabre there. I, I almost thought it wasn't going to happen, but uh, yeah, that was 
pretty awesome. And for the very last Milwaukee Metal Fest shirt, we got a Broken Hope tee um, with their, I believe this is their latest album. Yeah, Mutilated and Assimilated uh, with this cool little guy. Love the colors on it. And then on the back, we have the entire track listing, which is very fucking cool. All right. And we have this one, Acid Witch. Every day. Oh, just, sorry. It's Halloween night. Not every day is Halloween. Which I believe this is a single cover. Super happy that I saw Acid Witch this year open up for Venom Inc. I missed the other two bands, which was very sad. But I got to see Acid Witch and I got to get a t-shirt from them finally. So that was fucking sick. Wish they had some patches, but uh, you know. That was, I believe that was also the last date on their tour. I don't know what it is with Denver last date of the tour, but that's just how it goes, I guess. All right, here we go. Local band, local band, weaponizer here. Black, speed metal type of shit. This is the cover from their very first um, album. Super fucking rad. This is another shirt I've been wearing a lot of. Um, I love like the Mad Max kind of dystopian stuff. If you like kind of black uh, speed metal shit, it's a, it's way more aggressive than say like Midnight, I, I would argue. Um, but yeah, local band, absolutely phenomenal. I don't believe that this album is on Spotify or anything like that, but um, I'm sure you could probably find it. But yeah, Weaponizer, local band, absolutely sick. And actually, oh, I should say, I got this shirt for free because I walked up to the thing and I said, can I say the secret code to get a free shirt? Has anybody done it yet? And they're like, no, what is it? And I said, fuck work. And then they gave this to me. All right, moving on. We have Deceased. Oh yeah, another band I'm very happy I got to see live this year, very first time. Fucking love the, it's like in front of a factory, love the black and white metal lives, very sick. And on the back, we have this a whole other artwork on here. It's some ghoul, like some ghost. It looks straight out of like scary stories to tell in the dark, which is awesome. And then we have the entire uh, tour dates on there too. So very sick, very, very, very good show. If you have not seen Deceased, do yourself a favor and go see them because they are fucking insane. And they played a lot of stuff off of uh, Luck of the Corpse, which I was very happy about. Okay. Then we get into the big boys here with Gore Guts. I wanted to get the Considered Dead long sleeve with the dates and everything, but that was sold out. And I was like, well, let me just get the Considered Dead shirt. And that was also sold out. So that was kind of lame. But they all had good merch and gore guts was no slouch either great shirt here and then we have the dates on the back and it's a great great material too um it is not it is like in there it's not like screen printed on i will say like the satan shirt is a little like crispy on top but this is like embedded into the fabric which is fucking awesome because it will not fade as fast so gore guts obscure skull leer shirt very fucking cool all right and this of course ooh, i mixed them up here was got with the cannibal corpse mayhem chore that was happening i saw this posted on somebody's instagram and i knew i had to get it because i thought this was absolutely sick they had it on all the posters it's the back cover for chaos horrific but it's all black and white. And uh, it's, yeah, immediately when I saw that, I'm like, I have to get that fucking shirt. And if you've seen my Cannibal Corpse shirts video, uh, you will know that I, that uh, the shirts have increased since then quite a bit. So we might have to make a part two at some point. And then we have all the dates on the back. Cannibal, as always, absolutely sick shirts. Kind of the same thing as Obscure or as uh, Gore Guts with that fabric is just right in there. So it's not going to come off as quickly. But yeah, man, like the... The black with the red around it. Oh, God, it's so fucking sick. And then on the, all these corpses, like, rising up from the grave, like, that one is cool. Fucking hell, Vincent Locke shit, dude, it's so good. Moving on, we have another band that I have seen way too much, and that would be Exhumed, when they opened up for the Cavalera Brothers on their Morbid Devastation tour, which was fucking fantastic. And this is the, they put out an EP called Beyond the Dead, and they kind of only show, like, the table 
I think, on the on the official album artwork. So this is like the expanded version where they show the waiter, which is also, I believe, on the To the Dead artwork because it's, you know, the EP is supposed to be kind of an expansion of that. And this is like classic, classic metal shirt shit because they show all the dates and the months, which I think is really cool. But yeah, this is like, gosh, I don't even know, my fourth or fifth Exhumed shirt. Absolutely love that band, so... I had to, I had to get that. And this is actually the first shirt I've got from them that has dates on it. Every other shirt does not have dates on it that I've got from them. Moving on, we have another Matt Harvey based uh, project here, and that would be Left to Die, another death tribute band that I saw this year, um, specifically focusing on leprosy and then some scream bloody gore. And they played Corpse Grinder, which uh, you know is from the demos. And I like the uh, the red on white. I was even talking to their their merch lady, and they're like, you know, this is really classic death metal shit. Is the red and white, but people like the black tees. But I just got it because it was a white shirt. I thought that was sick. And then we have all the dates on the back as well. That was another absolutely incredible show. Leprosy is such a huge album to me, so that was really fucking sick to see that played live. Moving on, we have the Coven shirt here and i believe this is the one on like the inner sleeve of the witchcraft album put out in 69 uh the coven has kind of gained a reputation now of like kind of starting the devil horns and some other satanic lyrics way before uh, or at least a year before black sabbath so that's kind of gained a reputation for itself and then we have the dates on the back. And this one's kind of cool because they did a U.S. tour and then some European dates. So they threw all of them on there, which is pretty sick. And then uh, I think, on, oh yeah, on this sleeve we have a little pentagram. So can't cut the sleeves off of this guy. But yeah, Coven. Uh, interesting, interesting show. I will, I, that's all I got to say about that. And then we have the last shirt that I got. And that would be Possessed on their last or current tour yes currently happening uh yeah i've needed a possessed shirt for a long time and i got this one specifically not only because of the front design i love all the like demonology symbols and things but on the back we have the dates black mariah and nun slaughter's name on their tour uh <laughs> yeah on there as well so i think that's fucking awesome so mm -hmm. 